friends this is priyanka today we are going to solve a problem on economic analysis of power plants in this video we are going to find out the heat rate from a given input output curve now first i will read what is the given problem the input output curve of 25 megawatt capacity generating power plant is given by i is equal to 5 into 10 raised to 5 in bracket 7 plus 0.2 l plus 0.1 l square where i is in kilojoule per hour and l is in megawatt find the average rate of heat supplied that is heat supplied per megawatt hour when the plant is operating at 25 megawatt load for 10 hours in a day and it was kept hot at zero load for the remaining period of 14 hours also find the saving in the heat rate if the same energy is produced for the whole day at constant load so this was the given question let us first understand what is the given data Plant capacity 25 megawatt given and input output curve is given. I is equal to 5 into 10 raised to 6, 7 plus 0.2 L plus 0.1 L square. Where this input is given in kilojoule per hour. So when we put here at load, load value that is L is equal to anything, then we will get input in terms of input per hour because if we observe the unit of input given then it is in kilojoule per hour and load is given in megawatt. We have to find out what is the heat rate. So what is the meaning of heat rate? So heat rate is nothing but ratio of input to output. So for this given input output curve we have to first find out what is the total input for given condition and then we have to find out what is the energy generated so we will first observe what is the given condition so here condition is given that the plant is operating at 25 megawatt load for 10 hours and at zero load for 14 hours now what is the first step so first step we will find out what is the input so if we put value of load that is L is equal to 0 and L is equal to 25 in this equation then we will get input per hour. So we will first calculate input per hour at L is equal to 0. So when we put L is equal to 0 in this given equation then we will get I is equal to 5 into 10 raised to 6 in the bracket 7 plus 0 0.2 into 0 that is 0 plus 0 so what is the answer that is 7 into 5 into 10 raised to 6 and what is the unit so input i unit is given in kilojoule per hour so i will write the same unit now we will move for the next so input per hour at l is equal to 25 so instead of l we will put here 25 so i is equal to 5 into 10 raised to 6, 7 plus 0 0.2 into 25 plus 0 0.1 into L square that is uh, 625. Now we will simplify this. So 5 into 10 raised to 6, 7 plus 5 plus here 62.5. So when we calculate this, we will get the answer that is 62.5 plus 5 plus 7. That is 74.5. So I will write 74.5 into 5 into 10 raised to 6 unit is kilojoule per hour. Now we will calculate what is the total energy input. So these two values are input per hour. But for 1 hour, this is the input at L is equal to 0. But at L is equal to 0, plant is operating for 14 hours. So if we multiply here for with 14 and for at 25 megawatt, it is operating for 10 hours. So for this L is equal to 25, we will multiply here with 10. And then we will get the total input for 24 hours. So here 
total energy input to the plant in 24 hours. So I will take here that L is equal to 0. So for this we will multiply with 14. So 7, uh, so I will take the di direct answer that is 7 multiplied by 14 that is 98 into 5 into 10 raised to 6 plus now here also we have to multiply with 10. So here 7 45 into 5 into 10 raised to 6. So for this answer if I take 5 into 10 raised to 6 as a common term then 98 plus 745. 843 multiplied by 843. So here is the answer. Now what is the unit? So here unit is kilojoule per hour. But here this time in number of hours is getting multiplied. So we will get here the answer in kilojoule only. Now we will move for the next step. Now we will find out what is the total energy generated in 24 hours. So how to find out? It is given that the plant is operating at 25 megawatt load. So this energy generated that is nothing but output and it is in the form of L. So here load is given 25 megawatt. But this load 25 megawatt is for 10 hours. So I will take here. 25 multiplied by 10 plus. Now out of 24 hours remaining 14 hours what is the load? Load is 0. So if I take load 0 and it is for 14 hours multiplied by 14. So your total number of hours are 24. So for this total energy generated 25 into 10 plus 0 into 14 that is 250 megawatt hour. Because here hours are getting uh, multiplied. So here 25 megawatt load for 10 hours. So here we have got 250 megawatt hour is the unit. Now we will calculate the heat rate. So the question is that we have to find out the heat rate for this given condition. So heat rate is nothing but input by output. So for this given condition we have calculated what is the total energy input in 24 hours. So here I will write this value 843 multiplied by 5 into 10 raised to 6 divided by output. So output is nothing but the energy generated. So energy generated at given load. So this is in megawatt hour so it is 250. Now how unit we have to write here this kilojoule and for denominator it is megawatt hour. So when we solve this we will get 843 multiplied by 5 divided by 250. That is 16.86 into 10 raised to 6 kilojoule per megawatt hour. So this is the answer of the first question. Now we will move for the second condition. So for the second condition same energy is produced for the whole day at constant load. Then we have to find out the heat rate and then finally we have to calculate what is the saving in heat rate. So same energy is produced that means in earlier case what is the energy produced that amount of energy produced for this case also and for this energy, the plant is operating for whole day. So for this whole day, that means we have to take the number of hours, that is 24 hours. And for this 24 hours, at constant load. So the, we have to first calculate what is that constant load the, for which the plant is operating for 24 hours. So for that the energy produced that is same as earlier. So what is the earlier energy generated? So energy generated in 24 hours that is 250 megawatt hour that we have calculated. So this amount of energy produced for the second case also. And for the second case 
the 24 hours working plant is working for particular constant load so energy we have what is the energy produced so we can say say that same energy is produced for 24 hours which is equal to 250 megawatt hour so what is the load so how to calculate load so load is in megawatt so we will divide here with number of working hours so number of working hours is 24 so 250 divided by 24 that is equal to 10.41 megawatt so this is the load of plant so the the load at which the plant is operating which is equal to 10.41 megawatt. Now for this load we will calculate the input per hour. So how to calculate the input per hour from this input output curve. So this input is nothing but it is given kilojoule per hour. So when we put L is equal to 10.41 then we will get I value of I is equal to so we will put here 10.41 instead of L then we will get 19.95 into 5 into 10 raised to 6 and unit kilojoule per hour. Now what is the total input because the plant is operating for the whole day that is 24 hours so what is the total input we have to multiply here with 24. So this 24 is having unit hour so this hour hour is getting cancelled and answer will be in kilojoule. That is 19.95 into 5 into 10 raised to 6 into 24 kilojoule. So this is the total energy input. And what is the total energy generated? So energy generated condition is given as the same energy for the previous case. So here we have to take 250. So here I is nothing but this value and L is nothing but 250 megawatt hour. So when we calculate this we will get... 9.576 into 10 raised to 6 kilojoule per megawatt hour. Now question is that we have to calculate saving in heat rate. So in previous case here heat rate is 16.86 into 10 raised to 6 and in this case when plant is operating for 24 hours then it, here it is 9.576 into 10 raised to 6. So we have to take the difference and the savings in heat rate that is equal to 7.284 into 10 raised to 6 kilojoule per megawatt hour. And this is the answer of second question.